we will always talk about safety. So it's, it's just has to be a way of life, not only with respect to our product and how we use it, but how we do our daily, our daily uh, work. I want everyone to leave the same way they came in. There's a significant amount of checking, and obviously we're not making toasters here, we're making firearms, and it's going out of the field with product safety. And so each one of these individuals is checking their particular operation to ensure that the safety is of the utmost, so that the end user, the consumer, knows that what they're getting is a safe product. It's important that every part of our process is looked at and gauged at each operation. We have certain safety checks that you have to do on every single operation, and uh, it's critical that we follow those. And it's critical that when the gun goes out of this factory, it's built to our specifications. And it's as safe as it can be to the end user. As far as uh, each individual operation, it's, it's probably 90%, 10%. 10% putting it together and 90% checks. Every single operation has checks to it, yeah. Process checks, uh, quality checks, function checks, safety checks. It's, Every operation has something that the guy's looking at um, to make sure it conforms with our standards. Although to the layman, it may look like they're mating parts together. It is uh, part of their process, part of their work content is to do an inspection to ensure that those mating parts are within gauge. And as it comes down through, the final, the final inspection, of course, is right here at the end of the line prior to it going to the gallery. And then once it's in the gallery, every firearm is proof to ensure that the integrity of the gun is there. And all of the pieces and all of the components that have been married up are sta have stayed together. And then we go beyond that to the testing or and or targeting through, for the 700. The performance of each gun is carefully checked before it leaves Remington. We, we check the performance of the trigger mechanism as well as the accuracy of the rifle overall. Every gun that we built gets proofed 100%. A proofing operation is we, we shoot the gun with a very high pressure load inside an enclosed steel box and we are checking the integrity of the steel that the barrel is made out of, the receiver and the bolt shroud. Drop testing is done to make sure that the firearm doesn't break, uh, parts don't come loose, and to check that the gun does not fire unexpectedly. It's our goal to meet the customer's expectation and produce the safest possible product and one that will function to his expectations. Safety's always been top priority and um, it's, it's, it's very important for, again, our end users. You want to make sure that the firearm operates the way it's intended to operate. Yeah. Being a hunter, you don't want things to go on in the woods or in the field that aren't supposed to. And we want to make sure that that, that happens here before we give it to our customers. Um, and it's uh, really a mindset. And I, we're very fortunate because this facility is allowed to act like that. You know, our, our executive management insists we act like that. And it's really a, a nice atmosphere to work in. Typically, when I give tours in this facility, people are in awe, not only of the amount of effort we put into ensuring safety. Um, and th these are people from the industry as well, because they see what our competitors do. But they're also in awe at the size of the facility and the complexity of what we're doing on a daily basis and how well we do it.